As a second generation Caribbean American, American by birth, Caribbean by parentage, specifically Jamaican, I am proud of, to co be a co-sponsor of HCON Res 364. National Caribbean Heritage Month is for the millions of Caribbean people and their American descendants an affirmation and much deserved recognition of their role contribution to the growth and development of our nation as well as the region within this hemisphere from which these Americans like myself have come. Caribbean American Heritage Month was created to herald the unique historic relationship between the people of the Caribbean region and the United States and the many great contributions they have made to our country. For centuries now, Caribbean Americans have fortified this great nation. Alexander Hamilton, born 1755 on the Caribbean island nation of St. Kitts and Nevis, was the first Caribbean American from New York to serve in this body, then known as the Continental Congress. He's held num numerous cabinet positions, including Secretary of State. Another new influential New Yorker of Caribbean ancestry, Colin Powell, also held the position of Secretary of State in more recent times. As it relates to my district, I must mention the late great Caribbean American uh, of Barbadian and, and Guyanese ancestry, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, who worked in the Congress from 1969 to 1983 and was the first black woman to run for president of our nation. Ms. Chisholm paved the way for me to serve in this body second in the line of succession in the same constituency in which she served. As a Caribbean American woman and a member of Congress, it is my hope that we can continue. An additional one minute. The gentlewoman is recognized for an additional minute. Thank you both very much. It is my hope that we can continue to improve our diplomatic and economic relationships and arrangements with many of our neighbors in the Caribbean region, such as Haiti, the Netherlands Antilles, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Jamaica, and other Caribbean nations. The Caribbean communities known as CARICOM have worked with their citizen ambassadors in the American Caribbean diaspora to develop a diversified economy that is favorable to foreign di direct investment from the United States and human, and resor human resource and intellectual capital from the region. As such, the Caribbean nations have cooperated on ta tax enforcement matters, transparency, and exchange for information with the United States. These Caribbeans are also strategic in the United States counter transnational trans terrorism activities, crime, and illegal narcotic importation. These contributions and importance of the Caribbean region to the United States is reflected in the millions of people who contribute to acknowledge the pride heritage of the region by the way of the Caribbean carnival style parades and festivities that occur across this nation. And I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you. Gentlemen,